Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, I really want to welcome you. Come on in. We are working on some eclectic journals, and we're we've already got our covers made. We've got our pages sewn in, our signatures all sewn in. There's three signatures in each book, and we're. We've been working on getting pockets together, and now it's time to add them to the journals. Okay, so I've kind of made two piles. They're not exactly the same, but they're similar. And we're going to, I'm going to see what we need in each book. I'm not going to do the pocket on the front. Um, on the insides of the covers, I'm going to save that for a different day. But let's take a look at maybe adding some pockets where we're going to put them at least um, in the journal. So there's pockets, there's tucks. Let's see. What would go nice with this page? Should this be a belly band? So many choices. Okay, I like this. All right, so I'm going to let that one go there. And this could either be a belly band or a side tuck. Or we can just tuck inside. So it it doesn't really match <laughs> but it's an eclectic journal and i like that i like when things are you know eclectic and um you know clash a bit that is fine with me um and i am going to put that one there we may add some embellishments to it maybe something in the center a little label or something but let's just see where we're at as far as using the pockets that we have made. All right, and we'll use that, but not right here. There's Bluebird. How about Bluebirds of Happiness? Those are cute. All right, we can have Bluebirds. And we have three signatures, so we need to be mindful of that. This is a small little pocket. Or how about a side tuck? Let's just make a tuck. We'll glue this on two sides. Maybe do some embellishing here. I like that. Not every page is going to need a pocket, but I think we have a lot of them, so all right, we need something here that has a little contrast to the blue. How about yellow? Yellows and browns. That is very nice, I think. Methinks. All right, we're not doing too much pink yet. And this is supposed to be, how about this? I think I'm gonna switch this out for that. Yeah, let's get the pinky colors going. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We can figure out something to do with this girl right here. Okay. I 
I know we have a belly band or two. This we could make it maybe into a, a large page flip. If we do that, we would need to cover the back. Mm. Maybe we'll leave those pages for writing. All right, let's figure out something to do with that one right there. Here's the center. Let's make sure this pink, because the pink is here. There's a lot of pink in this um, in this journal, so let's put this in the back, or you know, towards the back somewhere. How about like here? somewhere towards the back. All right. These are Sylvia's papers. I just love them so much. Near there. It's our fold out. But so that's an already an interactive. Okay, we're getting close to the end of signature number one. Ready. Another bluebird. So cute. All right. <laughs> that was one down. I guess I could have split these into three piles. That might have made sense. I don't usually put anything on the front or the back or the middle of a signature. It's just kind of the way I tend to do things, not for any certain particular reason, but it just kind of works out that way. Oh, I like that. Be pretty there. What? Okay. That kind of coordinates with that page over there. That's a beautiful botanical book page. We'll leave that as it is. Look at those little bun buns. Yeah, I don't want this to look too much like an Easter journal, but one little pocket is not gonna kill us, is it? Well, yes, I think we will. All right, so is everybody doing okay? I hope you are. Um, I hope you're doing something crafty. If you're if you're crafting along with us, I would be interested to know if you're in the midst of making a journal right now. Maybe you can um, go over to the Eclectic Cottage Cafe and show us 
what you're working on, or if you have a YouTube channel, let us know who you are and how to find you, and we can come and take a look at what's going on on your desk. I like that. Then we can have a nice tag. Again, we can make a page flip out of this. This would be a nice spot for it. Colors coordinate with both of those pages. postage stamp. I love that paper. I wouldn't want to cover that up. It's so pretty on its own. A lot of these papers are really, really gorgeous and they don't need a lot of work. Maybe we can figure out something to do with this thing. Oh, too close. Put it in the back. In the back. Where? Where? Oh, where? How about in there? We'll figure out something to do with it right there. <coughs> uh huh. We have a flip out that we forgot to do. <coughs> All right, we did flip outs and we did not get this straw paper one, but we will, we'll come back to it. This already has a pocket. Here is a flip out. Belly band, a side tuck, <coughs> either or, Okay, it looks like we're going to have just about the right amount. Maybe I won't put anything on that parchment paper or on the braille paper. Maybe over there. Do we have a tall one, a tall, narrow one? New. But we could put a belly band. That's going there. Here's our center. I kind of leave the center for whoever's going to end up with the journal to figure out what they want to do on the center folds. You know, I finally ch 
changed out my little um, art glitter glue bottle. The other one I used for over a year and this one already. I mean, in the first week, it's giving me trouble. The other one lasted a year. And I have a drawer full of them. I, it came in a big, um, you know, a big bag full of them. And I've had them, I've been using them on and off over the years. So it's not like I don't have more, but the other one lasted a year. And this one is only lasting a minute. Nothing on the parchment paper. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love this cat. Hello, kitty, kitty. I'm a dog person, not a cat person, but not that I don't like cats. I do. My kids have cats. But I don't like, it's not that I don't like cats. I don't like litter boxes. Nope, 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 nope. Just don't. All right, so there are tons of pockets now. Um, not only are there tons of pockets, there's also going to be tons of open space um, that have nothing. So writing space and places for people to personalize the journals using their own creativity, their own thoughts, their own ideas, their photographs, their memorabilia. And... Now let's do the other one. Okay, and the second book. Let's take a look at what we have here. You know what, I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I want to um, split these into three signatures. So let's get similar things For all three signatures, similar, similar. All right, a tall pocket. All right, I don't want to overthink it. All right, belly band type thing. Small pocket. Okay, these are bottom loading pockets. All right, I'm not putting a whole lot of thought into to this part. I just want to divide things up so we have about the same amount of pockets in the front as in the back of the book. All right, flip, let's put a flip in each or a large piece in each signature and then okay so we'll work on one signature at a time oh, pretty Probably just put this book belongs to or something like that right there. That might brighten up that. Second half.
Isn't that interesting? That is um, a photo of a gorgeous staircase, pink staircase. And I did run it through a watercolor filter. It's a public domain uh, image of a staircase. two belly band type things or one could be a, a tuck and one could be a belly band all right we'll do something with that one there we have a that fold out there. That's so pretty. That botanical book page is already so pretty. I don't want to put anything there. <laughs> Let's see. That's the front half. Let's add some things to the back half. Oh, the bluebirds. Hello, bluebirds. Bluebirds of happiness. I try and put bluebirds of happiness in every journal that I do. Um, some journals, like a pretty journal or a spring journal or um, an Earth Vibes journal, might have more bluebirds than others. Oh, pretty. Um, but I like to have at least one in every journal. It just a bluebird of happiness um, sends the new owner the intent of, um, you know, happiness from my desk to theirs. So if you end up with one of my journals and you see a bluebird of happiness in there, that's my wish for you. To be happy. How about, oh, I already put the divot there. I was going to make that top tuck. We'll just put it up, well, maybe a different page. Okay. That's signature one. And signature two. Ready? We can put this in here as well. That is already so pretty. It's okay. I'm going to put it there. This is probably going to be a flip out. We'll decide when we get to it. No, that's too matchy matchy. With because even though that's not a pocket, it has the look of a pocket over there. It's a little bit chilly today. Not not. Not nearly as bad as it could be. Um, I think it's going to be, it's going to be getting cooler this weekend. Oh, how about this cat? Oh, kitty, kitty. I'm not really a cat person, but um, I'm not, not a cat, not like not a cat lover. I mean, I like a, a cat. I don't like kitty boxes, kitty litter boxes. That's why I don't have... I have a dog. I love my dog. Chi Chi, she's outside getting a breath of fresh air this morning, having her morning. It's not too cold outside, and it sounds like the cats might not be harassing her this morning. Once the cats come, I have to go let her in because 
it's so obnoxious the way that they um they come here just to just to harass my dog and my dog lets them it just drives her crazy when they just sit right outside right they'll sit under the the tree there's a tree out there just outside her reach and they will sit under that tree <laughs> they'll come all the way across the street they have to cross the street go all the way around a house and then come over and sit under a tree on our side just to harass Chi Chi. Oh, and they will. They do. How about this dragonfly? Pretty. I like her. Ah, oh, that's a flip out. Do I want anything on that flip out? Not necessarily. People can, whoever ends up with a journal can, ah, uh, I don't know. Another flip out. Two flip outs in the same signature. That's highly unusual. That's pretty. Kind of coordinates with that over there. I do need to trim. This is, this is just um, one of those yellow envelopes. And because it's sewn in, I need to open it up on this side so that it can be used as a tuck. Put something nice in there. Store your memorabilia or what have you in there. There's so much room to work, so much room to personalize um, these journals. You can fill it to the brim and it's not overly, um, the journal is not going to be overly stuffed, even though we're putting a lot of things in there. It's not going to be overly stuffed um, to, you know, be like a gaping gator mouth right from the, the get-go. So whoever gets the journals will be able to remove anything that they care to remove, anything that, you know... They can remove anything that I put in here and fill it with their own um, things from their own stash, things from their own life. Speaking of filling things from things with your own life, one more, one more, one more. Oh, one more and a belly band. All right, so maybe a belly band. That's pretty. And okay. All right. That's number two and number three. This feels a little lighter. All right, let's put that one there. Remember, we're putting the junk in the junk journals. I use the throwaway, um, you know, the paper from the bin when I'm when I am backing a pocket. I want to make the pocket nice and um, durable uh, by adding another uh, layer of paper, and I use the the um, garbage from 
uh, the paper from the bin when I'm doing that because we're gluing it down and you're not going to see the other side of a pocket. But when it's a tag or stationary or something that we're going to be writing on, of course, I'm going to add a backer, something that can be written on. That's like the almost the exact size. This could be end up being an envelope or a flip. Any, when we come to these, if we decide to turn this into a flip, we'll have to back it because in the back will show, be showing. That's fine. We gotta start somewhere. I keep hearing something like an explosion or something outside. You know, we're a military town, so nothing really is completely surprising. Um, when you hear helicopters or low-flying planes and, you know, and different things, you can't be too completely surprised. But something's going on out there um, since very early this morning, and it happens on occasion, and it sounds like explosions of some type. I don't know what all that's about. If anybody else lives in my area, you hear those explosions? those um, sounds and you know what they are, let me know. <laughs> don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, pretty. Yes. All right. How about one of Sylvia's papers? Let's get it on a nice large page. Where will we put it? Okay, Sylvia, we're going to put your paper right there. That. And that, we'll have to get, do some fussy cutting, get some birds or butterfly or something to add to some of these pockets that are more plain. All right, this rabbit. Can we cover that? The flower's pretty, but we have a pocket here. Where can we put the bunnies? That one there. All right, bunnies, this is going there. Bunnies on the ledger. All right, bunnies on the ledger. Or here. Okay. Found. I found a spot for you. Aren't they cute? So cute. I think that might be graphics fairy. Okay. So we'll be working on those for uh, for a little while. I want to do a quick flip through and just show you one thing. I I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, how to best work with, um, this fabric to add them to the, to the, um, two new journals. And I thought I would start by trying it out, trying out in my own journal. And my thought is to maybe, let's see, where could we put it? This is my own personal journal. And what would we think? I use my acetate so that I can move things around. I can see what things look like. Okay, because it's page size. If I did that, if I 
if we did this, I'm sorry for the glare with the acetate, but if we put the this applique, and I fussy cut it pretty close. I don't know if I'll do that again. Um, then we could put a pocket under there. Like this. And then maybe, you know, have, you know, cut this where it would look like that. I'm just letting you know that that's what I might be working on. I don't know that I'll do that on camera, but if it works out, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I think that's it. I've got some things that I need to go uh, take care of um, this morning. So I'm going to call it a wrap here. And I want to say that I um, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, those of you that keep coming back and, you know, and, and showing up and leaving comments and letting me know that you're here. I appreciate you so very much. Uh, the little, my little channel is growing and, um, that's all because of you. It's because of your help. And I am, am preparing to get my thought. I'm trying to get my thoughts and stuff together. Uh, I found out, I didn't know exactly what date the 100-day project starts, but I'm pretty sure that it starts this Sunday. And I want to get a couple of things together. And I just plan on, you know, I don't know if I'll get a video done every single day for the 100 days, but I will be working at least, you know, 10 or 15 minutes in my art room every single day on junk journaling. Okay, on creating junk journaling, whether it's, you know, whether it's writing. Yeah, this is my journal. This is my personal journal. And I just, you know, have, I plan on doing one of these um, every month. Remember, we did the one last month for January. And it was filled with a lot of things. We've already gone over over that. And this is my little signature for um, February. And I don't get to journal in here every single day, but I do. Does anybody else use day one? I use day one on on my, it's a, an app that comes with the iPhone. And it's kind of like personal Facebook. <laughs> so you you know, you can collect your photographs and, and journal. It's a journal. It's a personal journal, personal journaling space. You collect your photographs. You can go to your pictures, you know, at the end of the month and, you know, anyone that you want to make, you know, a journal entry, it will put it in on the particular date. I just love that so much. Um, so that's a good way to, you know, to do catching up when it's time to catch up. So I want to spend more time, I do plan on spending more time doing personal journaling and um, a lot of time, you know, in the next hundred days on, you know, continuing to work on my regular videos. So that probably won't change too much. I don't know if I'm going to do a hundred days of, of, um, of videos, but I am going to be junk journaling for a hundred days and I will um, be posting regular videos, a lot more videos because of that. All right, so that's it. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you guys for being here today. And, you know, if you're if you're new and you've lasted this long, hit the subscribe button, come back often. We're going to be doing a whole lot of uh, junk journaling. All right, very good. Bye.